Durham, North Carolina is located in the central part of the state, just south of Bahama. Unlike fellow North Carolina cities, Davidson and Beaufort, Durham does us the courtesy of being located in the county with the same name, of which Durham is the county seat. The city is known historically for its tobacco, known worldwide as the home to Duke and North Carolina Central Universities, and more recently known as a center of medical research, technological innovation, music culture, and culinary offerings. To some poorly educated sportscasters and ad campaign executives, sadly it's known as part of North Carolina's capital, the second half of the mythical hyphenated city, Raleigh Durham. The city is also home to the Durham Bulls, who on Thursday, June 9th were holding Durham Night, which included the debut of a special uniform model after Durham's flag and designed by Runaway, an apparel and lifestyle company run by Durham natives Gabe and Justin. Runaway has captured the spirit of the city in its clothes and its gear, but the company's name could also describe what has happened to two of the letters normally found in its home city's name, leaving us with the phonetic colloquialism, Durham. Just hours before the fresh jerseys became game-worn jerseys, I headed over to Main Street in Durham to check out Runaway and see if I could pass for a Bull City native as I attempted to master Durham. I tried to learn from Justin, one of the made dudes at Runaway. Durham? Uh, not quite there. All right, let me try again. Durham. It sounds like you're using two syllables there. All right, get, get, let, me, let, me hear, let me hear you do it. Durham. All right, how about Durham? Almost. I tried to learn from JoJo at the register. Durham. 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 No. Even tried to learn from some random customer who was both from and wearing Durham. 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 No. No. Ah, ah, don't toy with me, man. Come on. All right, we'll come back to that later. But first, I did want to ask an important question to Justin about the game that night. What if the Bulls lose tonight? Is that on you guys? I hope for a good game. I really don't want to jinx it right now, uh, but they are a proud franchise. They've been wildly successful. Uh, so I think having these DRM jerseys will really give them that extra push to have a, a, a phenomenal night. And he had pretty good answers, but he did seem a bit nervous at that question. More on that later. With the success of the Durham line, I figured Justin might want some tips on other North Carolina towns whose names they could do colloquial phonetic spellings of. He figured I probably wasn't a good person to take fashion tips from, but he indulged me by trying to decipher the names of these North Carolina cities. What town in North Carolina do you think it would be? Fayetteville? Fayetteville. Fedville. well done, Fayetteville. Wilson. Wilson, North Carolina. So they say it with a T. Tarboro. 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 Well done, well done. All right, all right, here's a, this is a small town, so I don't think you're gonna sell a lot of shirts here. Charlotte. Yeah. All right, it was nearing game time and I still wasn't fluent in Durham. I figured somebody at Durham Bulls Athletic Park would have to help me out. Like maybe Alex Peterson, media relations coordinator for the Bulls. Alex is actually the guy in charge of making sure that all the Bulls players know how to say Durham right. I'm, am I correct? You're from Washington State, is that right, Alex? That's right, I'm from Seattle. But learning how to say Durham was one of the first things that they taught you here, I hear. Oh yeah, since day one, I've just, First thing they taught me, I've known how to say it pretty much ever since day one since I got here. And then you're in charge of teaching the other players, so you're kind of the guy to ask if I'm saying it right. So I want you to help me out here. Actually, let, let me hear you say it one time, because I've heard some other people. I'm trying to sort of mix together everything I hear. G give it to me. Derm. All right, that's that's similar to what I've heard. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm close these days. Derm. Uh, not quite. No. Or maybe Natasha at the front desk. She's helpful. Derm. That was really close, man. Maybe the ground screw guy whose name I forgot because I was too scared about stepping on a blade of his grass. Durham. 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 Durham? Durham. 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 Man, where's Wool E. Bull when you need it? All right, so I've got a special sneak peek. Here they are, designed by the guys at Runaway, the Durham jerseys for, uh, for tonight's Durham night. And uh, Alex, I got to ask you, do you mind if I try on the Durham jersey? I don't know, man. If you can't say it, I don't think you should try it. It seems as much as I tried, I couldn't nail it. I guess you really got to be from... Uh, you know. 
And about the game, don't worry, Justin. Bulls went ahead with a home run and held on to win 3-2. Undefeated in the runaway designed, Bull City approved, Durham jerseys. Hey, I, I think I think I got it. Uh, not quite. 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 Uh,